Greetings everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Captain Rye, and today's YouTube video is my triumphant return to the Fletcher. Now, to be fair, I haven't stopped playing the Fletcher. I've just had more interesting games than a lot of other ships. So, of course, that's what's been up on my YouTube channel. But I think this game will definitely bring all of you wonderful folks back as I show what this ship is capable of. Of course, you know, since it's me and my Fletcher, the game is going to be a victory. The map is Okinawa, and it's domination match mode. So I'm going to go ahead and push up into the B-cap point. If you looked at the mini-map, you might have noticed that a lot of my friendly ships kind of clumped up back towards A, and for a while there, it looked like they were all going to go to A. And I was a little bit concerned there, but now that I can see that they're turning around and coming in to support me at B, this is a good thing. Of course, the enemy team is going to group up and head towards B and C, like they almost always do. I get a speculative shot of torpedoes off here as a smokescreen appears over there. So I'm going to hopefully get a set of torpedoes off into that smokescreen as well. Because of course, as you know, there's one thing I love more than anything else, and that's torpedoing destroyers, especially tier 9 and tier 10 destroyers, who just sit in their smoke screens. And I've had battles like that before. If you caught what poor quality livestream I had on Sunday, the very first game I had was in my Fletcher, and the very first kill I got was doing just that to one of the enemy Fletchers. Now, it looks like my torpedoes have gone into that smoke screen, but it, from the looks of it, it doesn't look like that enemy destroyer stuck around. A smart destroyer player opted to leave his smokescreen, and so there for a little bit we were continuing to cap the base. The enemy team has already managed to take out one of our ships, and they've captured C, which now gives them the cap point advantage. Oftentimes in domination match modes, the team that gets the first blood and gets the first cap usually goes on to win the game, and that's almost always because they now have the momentum. I am detected here, and I don't like being detected. So I'm going to go ahead and roll around and continue to try and defend this cap point. The detection wore off as the enemy's planes flew back away from me, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But I do need to be careful. There are a couple of cruisers in this match that do have radar. And radar cruisers are one of the most annoying things in the game. At least when you're a destroyer. Spotted again here, enemy Shimakaze, or enemy destroyer up here, takes shots at me. I managed to knock out one of his guns, but I didn't actually do any damage in that situation. Really kind of disappointed there. Taking shots in as I'm still detected, the bloom is still up there, which means there's something sneaky within that 9 kilometer range that is seeing me. So I'm kind of hoping here that I can drop off detectability, get that back down, and I maybe can go sneak up and shoot some things. Come around the side of the island just as that's the case. And I'm firing off torpedoes at both the Iowa up there and the Yamato right behind him. Now that Iowa is slamming on the brakes hard, and he is trying desperately to stop. Because of course, as you can see, there are a lot of torpedoes in the water heading that direction. So, because the Iowa has started to reverse, I don't have a lot of uh, confidence that my torpedoes are going to hit him. But the Yamano behind him, maybe. Detected there briefly as that Turpitz comes around the side of the island here, and... Let's see, yes, it looks like I'm going to get a nice spread of torpedoes on that Yamato. Do some reasonable damage, finally. Oh! Fun and engaging game mechanics at its finest, folks. <laughs> One torpedo hit just exploded that full health, full HP Yamato. And he is out of the game, and there is my first kill at night, and my first set of damage at 97,000. 200 points. Wow. 
Okay, well, this is a good thing. And my team has managed to take out two other enemy ships. So now we have the ship advantage. Not only do we have the ship advantage, but because we took the B cap point, and now we've captured the A cap point, we technically have the cap advantage. Assuming we can get whoever's trying to recap the B cap point out of it. Enemy destroyer pops up there. I'm going to go ahead and take some shots out at him. It looks like he's kind of slowing down. I pop my smoke screen. And you'll notice that I've got two torpedoes headed, oddly enough, in my direction. No, this is not a replay bug. This freaked me out when the other three torpedoes in that spread finally showed up. I was able to dodge them because I kind of suspected that that might be the case with those torpedoes. But that is a very odd bug to have where only a portion of the torpedoes launched into spread are visible. Fire off a set of torpedoes through that channel into the smoke stream because I know there's a gearing in there. I know there's a Baltimore in there as well. Plus, there's still other ships back behind that island and they might be brave and try and head up into that smoke screen. Back out of the B cap point, of course, and here come more torpedoes. Ooh. But this is a widespread, and this is why I always wonder why people launch widespreads. Because by the time your torpedoes actually reach the target destination, they're so wide, my ship can be broadside on and just pass right between them. Taking shots out here at the Moskova because I have extreme prejudice against radar cruisers. Russian ones especially, due to the fact that they have the longest ranged radar in the game. Not doing a lot of damage though, and it looks like the enemy team is actually going to capture B from us. It's a little disappointing as the teams are still equal as far as a number of ships go. Spotted again by damn Sky Cancer. And I'm out in the open. Now, it doesn't appear that anybody's targeting me. And I do have that captain's skill that will tell me exactly who and how many people are targeting me. So there is that advantage. Torpedoes are almost up again. And I'm taking hits in there from, I assume was the enemy, Baltimore. But I know there's still stuff back over there that wants to hurt me. Spotted again as I come out of the smoke screen. Don't know why, but whatever was spotting me has disappeared. Now, there is a smoke screen up there, and it's just inside my torpedo range, so I get a set of torpedoes off of it. But the Moskova, who was up there, just died, and I don't think that the destroyer that's sitting up there is sticking around. So now, I'm in a bit of a situation here. As you can see, there's an Iowa up behind that island, but the Iowa is not alone. There's also the Baltimore who's up there, and he's going to pop up here any second. Yes, there he is. I fire off a spread of torpedoes. Those torpedoes, because of the angling of that island, most of them aren't going to make it through. But I need to be careful because that Baltimore is almost in detection range, and the Chapayev is almost in detection range. So I slam on the brakes and I pop my smoke screen. I don't need either of those cruisers shooting at me. But both of them have radar, and I'm well within radar range of both of them. So, as I said before, almost all of my torpedoes hit the island and break apart, but one manages to strike home and nail that Baltimore. Hey, alright. So the Baltimore is now down. And I've done over 100,000 damage. I know that Japayev is back behind me, and you know, look at him, he's still mostly full strength, and he's managed to work himself all the way back around there. So I'm going to keep my smoke screen between myself and him because I don't need him shooting at me. And you know what? Pay attention to that, Chapayev, in the notifications there above the minimap because that guy, he's going to go on to have a really good game. Enemy Iowa caught out in the open back behind this island here. He got my torpedoes back up again, and it looks like he is going to stop reversing and push forward. Enemy Benson has popped up, and now I'm engaged with him with this Iowa, but this Iowa, his guns are having a hard time turning around. I'm not entirely sure if he's intending to turn his guns at me, but his secondaries are opening up. I managed to kill the Benson, 
and avoid all of his torpedoes. I think he was hoping I was just going to continue straight. Hit the Iowa with a bunch of torpedoes, and I'm closing into point-blank range because I want as many of these torpedoes to hit that Iowa and maybe, just possibly, get me four kills in this matchup. Took shots in there from the Chapayev, who is still back over there, but he's dealing with other things now, so his attention is focusing elsewhere. Hit that Iowa again, but only with one really disappointing. Did cause flooding. And I'm trying to set him on fire, burn him down, just wreck him completely. Can I get the kill? Come on, he's almost dead. There's a fire on him. Can I do it? No. No! I did all of that work on that Iowa, only to have it taken by a friendly ship. Well, that's disappointing. But now, I'm capturing the C cap point, and friendly teammate is capturing the B cap point. So, we have the ship advantage, but just barely. We have the cap advantage, but just barely. But as I'm capping C and friendly teammates trying to capture B, it means the enemy team is not getting points. Now, I'm not detected right now, and that carrier is almost in range. And somebody I was having a conversation with in another video comment section was about having that 15 kilometer gun range on my Fletcher. And this is why I have it. Because now I can start taking shots at that CV at this kind of range completely undetected. And with any luck, I can set him on fire so that he will stop harassing me and my teammates with aircraft. But of course, I am going to continue to close in on him because I do want to ensure more shots hit and get more accurate fire on him. So I am shooting him there. There's my high caliber. I do have him on fire, and here come the aircraft. Ooh, this is going to be tight. Can I kill him before he tries a manual drop on me? Come on. He's almost dead. There's shots coming in from the friendly battleship back behind me. Managed to secure my kill through fire on that guy. And now I'm at four kills on a high caliber. Pop my smoke screen, tried to slow down there for a second. Still manages to get one last auto drop off on me and actually do some damage. Knocks out one of my gun turrets and now I'm a low yang because I only have four turrets. That's a little disappointing. But if you paid attention to the chat there and to the notifications above the minimap, you'll notice that that Chapayev that Chapayev is on five kills. That Chapayev has earned himself a Kraken Unleashed. He's a tier eight and a tier 10 game. And that guy really carrying his team hard. And technically, theoretically, he could actually still win this, sort of. As long as our CV stays alive, we have a points advantage and a cap advantage. We should be able to maintain a points lead going into the last five minutes here. But of course, that Chapayev is on five kills and he likes to burn people down. In fact, he's going to earn a Witherer here at the very end of this matchup. Now, I know where he was last spotted. He was back up in the B cap point when he took out our Hindenburg. And there he is. And he's going to try and disappear behind this island. Now I have torpedoes up once again and it kind of looks like he might be heading towards the gap in that island. So, fire off a set of torpedoes, but keep the other set in reserve, and that is a very important decision there. I only need one set to kill him to guarantee that, but he is maneuvering as he disappears behind this island, so I'm not entirely sure where he's going to go. So I want to hold off until I'm absolutely as close as I can be. As you can see again, he's maneuvering hard, which means I don't know if those torpedoes from the first set are going to hit. Now I'm back up into the B cap point, just about there, and that's going to reveal that there's obviously somebody up here as soon as I enter it. But simultaneously, I don't want to be caught out in the open because I am very low health. Now he disappears, and I take a blind shot where the last lead indicator was as I push into the B cap point, and I'm going to use this island for cover. The match is almost over. The question is, am I going to be able to secure a Kraken Unleashed? I don't know. The cruiser is just popped up, and it looks like landing torpedoes are very good. Can I get him? Come on. Yes. Woo! 198,000 damage done in that battle. Kraken unleashed high caliber and Confederate. 604,000 credits earned. 
that was actually a fairly close battle. I mean, aside from the points, the teams were very close. And of course, a shout out to that Chapayev player who, you know, earned a Witherer and a Kraken Unleashed at a very minimum in that battle. He really did carry on his team hard. Top of the team for XP earned well above 2,000 base XP, almost 2,600 base XP. And the next nearest guy on my team earned over 2,000 base XP as well. So overall, a very good matchup for the players on my team. Anyway, that's it for today's video, folks. If you like the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. If you'd like to get semi-regular channel news and updates, you can do so by liking and following me on Facebook. If you'd like to help support me and my channel, I encourage you to go and visit my Patreon and consider donating there. Any little bit helps. If you'd like to watch me try and play World of Warships, among other games, live on a live stream, you can do so by liking my Twitch channel and following me there, assuming the stream actually behaves itself. And if you've got a replay like this that you'd like to see on my channel and hear my wonderful voice, give commentary to, you can send it to my email. You can find the links for those in the video description down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. This is Captain Rye, signing off.